Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to be a successful new real estate agent in 2024. Obviously, to succeed in real estate at a high level as a listing agent, you need to use effective scripts. So when you're done watching this video, make sure you download my new script book. The link to download it is in the description below the video. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to start by mentioning to you that real estate is an amazing career and you could be very successful if you do the right things. Having said that, you chose a tough time to get in real estate. Why? Because we are experiencing across the country all-time record home prices. Prices are very high and we also have relatively speaking compared to the last several years high interest rates and this combination of high prices and high interest rates creates low affordability for home buyers and because of high interest rates some sellers may choose not to trade their three percent mortgage rate for a seven percent or higher so these are tough times now that doesn't mean that there aren't incredible opportunities out there because there are and because these are tough times a lot of real estate agents are going to get out of the business so it's going to open up the space for those like you who are committed to doing the right things to have success. Now, the other part of this that makes it tougher for most agents, not you, you might have heard of the NAR antitrust lawsuit. Now, the public perception of real estate agents has always been negative. I mean, real estate agents are not looked at as incredibly professional and knowledgeable. And I actually believe there's some truth to that for most real estate agents. The challenge is now that with this antitrust lawsuit, the public perception that it was already negative has gotten worse. So all this means is that you have to get better. That's what it means because the real estate agents that are committed to really offering great service and great value to the public, they're going to have the best year of their real estate career and everybody else will get out of real estate and go look for a real job. Now, I am sure you got into real estate to have financial freedom, to earn a lot of money because it is possible. And in case you didn't know, um, <laughs> if you're watching um, real estate shows on TV, like Million Dollar Listing and Selling Sunset, that's not the reality for most real estate agents. I mean, that is a, that's, a, a, a very special group of agents. So when you watch those shows, you think like, wow, you know, I can just get in real estate. It's going to be so easy. And I can, I can make hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. You can, but it's not easy. In fact, the majority of real estate agents within a few years, they're out of real estate. So the success rate is not on your side. So Pay attention because you don't want to do what everybody else is doing. Because if you do what everybody else is doing, you, you're going to end up like them. And that's not what you're looking to do. Now, the other challenge that real estate agents have, and you might be in this situation, is you're under pressure to make money. You, you don't want to go months and months with a new real estate license without having any income. And so these are some of the things that create some challenges for you right now. And as excited as you may be as 
as a new agent with so much opportunity out there, again, if you do what everybody else is doing, that excitement could turn into desperation very quickly because you won't be making any money. So here's how you'll succeed. I wrote down two things. This is not that complicated, okay? You need to come into this new career with the understanding that this is a sales job. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> if you've never worked in sales, you need to accept right up front that learning how to sell and talking to people, which is required in a sales job and, and talking to people you don't know, is going to be uncomfortable at first. And uncomfortable is the feeling that everybody has when they do something new and different that they haven't done before and they don't know anything about. So you need to accept that because you need to feel uncomfortable and do it anyway. Let that sit with you, okay? It's not like, oh, it's uncomfortable. I called somebody and they hung up on you or they told me something nasty. And it's like, okay, now my day is ruined, my week is ruined, and my real estate career is over because of that. That's not how it works. Sales is a numbers game. And you got to go through a lot of no's to find a yes. So accept that. And, and then I wrote this down. If you don't want to learn how to sell, you're in the wrong business. So before you waste your time in real estate, uh, go find something else to do. Unless you want to sell one or two homes a year and you already know people that will do that with you. But uh, most people cannot live selling a handful of homes a year. So if you don't want to sell, go do something else. How about that? Then I wrote this down. It's still part of point number one. You have to detach from your emotions, especially when you have negative emotions. Oh, I, I don't want to do that. I, I don't feel like doing that. I'm tired today and it's not convenient right now and whatever. You have to learn to do what you're supposed to do, whether you feel like it or not, because the reality is very often, you're not going to feel like doing what you're supposed to do. But when you have a real job, which most agents don't see real estate as a real job because they feel like, oh, I'm an independent contractor. I can do whatever I want. I don't have a boss. I work when I want to. <laughs> a real job is not like that. Whether you feel like it or not, you got to show up and do your job or you get fired. And when you look at real estate like that, you will have incredible success. And then I wrote down point number two, be a doer. And what I mean by that is you need to consistently take massive action looking for people who want to sell their house. They're out there in every market. There are people listing their houses and selling for various reasons, and you need to find them. And you also need to, it's part of the same point, bombard your brain with powerful, positive, motivational, inspirational ideas 24-7. And you need to continuously be asking yourself this question. How can I get better? How do I get better? What do I need to do? What do I need to learn and apply? Because you want to be a doer. You don't want to just be a professional student. What do I need to learn and do so I can get better and better? Every day you want to ask this question because successful real estate agents they're always learning and improving. It's not just learn and do nothing with it. It's apply what you learn to get better at, at your career, at your job, at what you do. Anything else you do outside of what I just told you, being a doer, bombarding your brain with powerful information, and looking for ways to improve everything else is a distraction. Write that down. 
Then I wrote down in capital letters on my notes. So make sure that you circle this and highlight it. The only thing you need to do to succeed in real estate is do, and then do some more and do some more and massive action. And when, or if I trust that it won't happen to you, if you're busy and you get distracted with buyers or you get distracted with classes in your office and you're distracted because you got to learn paperwork and, and you got to learn this and you got to learn that, you're not going to be able to take massive action. And unfortunately, people that are, are in positions of authority in real estate will tell you that you have to take all of these classes and you've got to take these courses and you've got to go learn all of this and you should be doing open houses and don't worry if you don't have listings to, ha to hold open houses there are agents in our office here that they will let you do open houses on their listings if you get distracted with that you're not going to be a doer in what I just told you to do, looking for people that want to sell. That requires a tremendous commitment and focus. And if you're doing everything else, listen, learning paperwork doesn't make you money. Learning the contracts doesn't make you money. Classes and MLS. Yeah, you got to learn all that stuff. Learn as you go. For the things you have to learn before you do them, you learn by doing them. That is a quote from Aristotle. Like it is so brilliant. It's exactly how it is. And when you're busy looking for business, you don't have time for any of this other stuff. And trust me, your broker will be thrilled when you find business. They'll help you with the contract. They'll answer every question. I mean, they're, they're going to be so excited that you're bringing in business to the office. They'll help you with everything you need. So you don't need to go learn it first. You learn as you go. Because that way, you're already on, 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 on the track and on the path to making money. Because when you find people that want to sell and you start taking listings and those listings start to sell you because you're pricing them right, you're getting price reductions, now you're helping the public out there and you're going to get paid. Everything else is not going to make you money. And that's when the excitement turns to desperation very quickly. And when you're desperate, um, I've been desperate, so I know how it feels. It's, it's harder for you to focus on helping your clients because you, you need money to pay your bills. And that desperation is not very attractive to people. And stop making excuses for yourself. Just become obsessed with finding people that want to sell their house. It works. When, that, when you put all your focus on, uh, on that, trust me, there are people in your marketplace that want to sell today and every day. And if you're focused on it, you are going to find them. Make sure you download my new script book. It has all of the scripts you need to succeed in real estate as a new agent or even if you're not a new agent and you're watching this, make sure you click the link in the description, download my new script book. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.